When it comes to manipulating ball motion, there are different tricks that can help you achieve that. So today we're going to show you three different tricks to adjust your release. Versatility is one of the most important aspects of the game. So if you want to be competitive in today's game, you're going to need to be versatile. You're going to need to be able to adjust to the different types of lane conditions out there. So with your middle finger and ring finger occupied, here is how can you affect ball motion by changing the placement of your index finger and your pinky finger. So first, we're gonna go to the index finger. So the wider you have that index finger is the more it's gonna let you get around the ball. And the closer that you have it to your middle finger, the more forward roll that you will tend to have. So when it comes to the pinky finger, it works on the opposite way. So the more spread out you tend to have that pinky, is the more forward roll it will tend to have. And the closer to you have to your ring finger, is gonna give you a higher axis of rotation. And then in order to maximize that side roll to give it like an extra higher axis of rotation, if you tuck your pinky, it will give you more potential to get more around the ball and therefore give it more axis of rotation. All right guys, so the first trick here is spreading your index finger and your pinky finger. So this particular finger position is great when you need to keep your hand behind the ball and therefore giving you a lower axis of rotation. So when you're bowling on a harder pattern, when you need your ball to roll early and be smooth in the back end, this type of finger placement is gonna be the best. So the second tip here is tucking your pinky and spreading your index finger. This one is the one that gives me the most potential to get around the ball. By tucking my pinky and spreading my index finger, it allows me to create a higher axis of rotation and sharper angles down lane. All right guys, so the third finger position that we're gonna talk about is kinda like a middle ground between the two that we just talked about. So on this one, you're gonna keep your pinky closer to your other fingers and your index finger spread out. So this one is gonna allow you to still feel the ball on the back a little bit, but also it's gonna give you the potential to get around the ball. So it's gonna give you a little in between, it's still it's gonna roll early, but also it's gonna have enough side roll so it comes back strong in the back end. So now that we talk about like the different fingers position there is, we're gonna go to the lanes and then we're gonna test them. We're gonna see what different ball reactions we get out of each finger position. All right guys, so now we are gonna test the three different finger positions on the lanes. So the first one is the standard one that we talk about, like the middle of the ground release. So we're gonna keep our pinky closer to, you, to our ring finger and middle finger and our index finger spread out. So I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty good lined up. I'm standing on 30 and then getting my ball around 20 and trying to get it to hook at seven down lane. So now that we know where we lined up with the middle of the ground finger position, we're gonna use the spread out finger position. This one is supposed to give me more forward roll, so my ball is supposed to hook early, but have a smoother back end reaction. So I'm gonna stand on the same spot and I'm gonna see how the ball reacts. All right guys, so on that shot you clearly saw my ball definitely start hooking earlier, but with a lot less back end reaction. So that's kind of what the purpose of this finger position is. So it allows you to get your hand more of the back of the ball, therefore giving you an earlier roll. So I would say that from that spot, I'm just gonna adjust like three boards to the right. So I'm just gonna move everything right and I think it should get me into the pocket. So yeah, I move three and one to the right and definitely it, give, uh, it gives us a more smoothed ball motion. So if you saw the other shots, we were actually getting our ball really sharp down lane and this one gives us a more controllable shape. So actually for these type of conditions where we see a lot of hook, I would much rather have a reaction like that because it's just easier to control. So the next and final finger position that we're gonna use today is by talking or pinky and spreading 
the index finger. So this one should allow us to get more side roll out of the three. This one is the one that I use the most because it's the one that allowed me to create more shape down the lane. Let's just see how it reacts. I'm gonna stand in the same spot where I was standing with the middle of the ground release. just crazy because it gives you the feeling that you can really get around the ball. It's so much more comfortable trying to do that and it's just easier to achieve. So you saw it, I threw it at the same spot at the arrow. The ball got through the spot really good, but once you saw the friction, it just went sideways. So I'm assuming that in order to hit the pocket, I'm just gonna need to move at least five boards left. I'm gonna try a five and two move and try to get it as right as possible in order to be able to hit the pocket. So let's try it. I think the move was a little bit extreme, it hit really light, but I hit the pocket. So that was a five or move. So now we're gonna try to hit flush. I'm just gonna move one back to the right and see how it reacts. All right, so that was a pretty good shot. We hit the pocket, we left a 10 pin, but it's clearly not the release the lane is asking for. So by having that bigger angles, it allows more chances to, you know, to miss. Like, because, you know, in bowling, we're humans. We are not a machine, so we're not gonna hit the same spot twice. So you're always gonna try in the release that gives you the most margin of error. And this one is clearly not the one, but I think it was a good example so we can see the difference between the three. So one key to note here is that by switching your finger positions, it's not automatically gonna change your release. It's just gonna help you to get your hand in a better position to in order to achieve it. So by spreading your fingers, tucking your pinky, and spreading your index finger, you still gotta switch your release a little bit in order to achieve those desired ball motions. All right guys, so there you go three different finger positions to find to your release. Please let us know in the comments, what do you think? What do you like? What other videos would you like us to make? Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.